uh, now let's learn how to run and interpret the co integration as this step wise diagram of time series analysis tells us that co integration is run when variables are not stationary at level and the order of integration is same uh, which means that they become stationary at same difference then we run the co integration so co integration can be checked using either angle granger approach or johansson approach angle granger approach is very easy and simple to use in step 1 we run the original regression for example log of spot prices is dependent variable is equal to beta naught which is intercept plus beta 1 which is slope into log of future prices so dependent variable is spot or current prices and the independent variable is future prices we have taken the log of spot and future prices this l mean log after running this original regression equation we shall calculate the residual in the second step and we shall save them in the separate series in a views and then we shall apply the uh, augmented dicky fuller test or any other stationarity test to investigate that whether the residuals are stationary or not remember that to check for cointegration both of these variables the part prices as well as future prices need to be uh, non stationary at level and stationary at first difference and then we shall run the ols and calculate the residual and we shall see that whether the residuals of two non stationary variable spot price and future price are stationary or not and if we conclude that the residuals of two non stationary variables are stationary it means that linear combination of two non stationary variables spot and future prices is stationary thus we conclude that these two variables are co-integrated and co-integration exists or in other, other words we can say that these two variables have long run relationship. Now let's go to the A views and uh, import or open the file containing the spot prices and future prices data and perform these three steps in the A views and then uh, from the E views output we shall conclude that whether co-integration exists between spot prices or future prices or does not exist please remember by co-integration we mean long run relationship let's move to e views now so let's open our file file which we shall use will be s and p Let's browse it and go to the relevant folder. It is work file. Here, this uh, spot and future prices data is saved in SP hedge file. Open it in the A views. Uh, now, this is variable of log of spot prices, L spot. And uh, this is variable of log of future prices. Before we perform the steps of co integration, we need to confirm that both of these variables are non stationary at level and they become stationary at same order of and they have same order of integration so let's start from log of support to check for stationarity issue run this stationarity test by clicking view unit root test augmented dicky fuller test at level so p value is more than 0 0.05 null hypothesis is not rejected and we conclude that this log of spot variable spot prices variable is non stationary at level we shall run this test again at first difference form and we see the output that it becomes stationary at first difference because probability value is less than 0 0.05 now we shall do the same thing on our second variable 
which is log of future. This is log of future variable. Run dictionary test by clicking view unit root test level. So on level, this probability value is 0.96, which is higher than 0.05. Thus, we conclude that this variable is also non stationary at level. Now we shall run the ADF test in first difference and shall see that whether it becomes stationary at first difference. So we on first difference and OK. The value has become less than 0.05. So this variable becomes stationary at first difference. So in this our equation, uh, both of these uh, variables, dependent variable as well as independent variable, are non stationary at level, and both of these variables become uh, stationary when measured at the first difference form. So, in this time series test, we can say that they have same order of integration because both became stationary at first difference form, and we can move to check whether co integration exists or not. So, to check for the co integration, as we have already discussed their, their steps, the first step is to run the regression. So we will type here estimate L spot space C space L futures. So we have uh, run the regression by clicking OK. Now in this step, we shall calculate the residual from this equation, which we can see by clicking the view actual fitted residual, actual fitted residual table. This is a residual column. We want to save this residual in a separate variable because if we do not save this residual in a separate variable and we run a new regression, this residual will automatically be updated. So, to save them in the separate file, first create series. Let's say we call its name Fract Resid at Practice Residual. So residual for practice purpose is equal to R E S I D. So here you can see that uh, that variable has been created because many variables are here. We shall see where is it. So that is spot or spot or future. This is variable prep resid. So this variable has been created and residuals have been saved in this equation. Now we shall run the in the third step. We run shall run the augmented Dickey Fuller test on this residual on the level. So we'll click OK. Now see here that residuals of this regression are stationary because null hypothesis is that it has unit root in simple words which means that this variable is non-stationary as p-value is less than 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis of unit root in the series and we conclude that this variable is stationary. As I already told you, that if the residuals of two non stationary variables is stationary, we conclude that long term relationship exists and those two variables are co integrated. So, in this uh, equation, we shall conclude that these are the steps which we just performed, uh, and here we have concluded that these two variables are co-integrated or in other words they have long run relationships. So if going back to the main steps of time series analysis here see now we are at this point we both variables were non-stationary at level they became stationary at first difference so there are order of integration was same when we checked for the co-integration by running the ADF test on their residual, we concluded that they are co-integrated. When they are co-integrated, it is better to run error correction model instead of first difference form. 
because error correction model helps us to measure the long term relationship as well as short term relationship now when both variables have been found to be co integrated then error correction model is more appropriate as i told you that it enables us to measure the long run as well as short run relationship therefore we should prefer this error correction model over first difference form model error correct term model measures the speed of adjustment in equilibrium if short term disequilibrium appears for a specific time a situation is that log of spot prices is dependent variable and we include the lagged value of residual of the original regression equation as independent variable this is basically error correction term we shall i shall show you how to run it in the reviews now error correction in reviews click here or type your estimate here you type your equation l spot space c l future L futures and then the lag value of residual which we calculated in last step. So to use the lagged value of this residual value, type minus one in the brackets. This will tell the EVs that you are going to use the lagged value of residual in this equation. This is basically error component so when we click ok we shall get this output this is the error correction model which tells us the speed of adjustment if uh, the disequilibrium appears in the long run so if you want to quantitatively measure that in how many months uh, this relationship shifts back towards the equilibrium then divide it one over 0 0.02 whatever the answer is you will conclude that that this is the number of month in which this equilibrium appears let me calculate it here so one divided by 0 0.029 so around 34.48 months so which are uh, near to three years so if this equilibrium appears uh, in the relationship between future and spot prices, it takes around 34 and a half month to uh, restore the original equilibrium. So this is basically the speed of adjustment. One limitation of this approach is that although it is very easy and simple to use angle granger approach of co-integration is easy and simple to use but its problem is that by using this uh, angle granger approach we can only uh, measure one co-integrating equation in this case it's fine because we have only two variables and maximum co-integrating equation can be one but when we have more than a two variable there can be more than one co-integrating equation therefore many people prefer to use johnson and Gisilius approach of co-integration instead of angle granger approach thank you